All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, this is episode 61? Holy crap, we've done so many episodes so far. And today, um, while I'm waiting sort of on the witchery, the new witchery update to be updated into the pack, because it's not in here yet, uh, and there's a ton of stuff with that that I'm really excited to try out. I wanted to mess around today with something that um, I've kind of wanted to mess around with. Is this still set to me? Okay. Oh, it's set to generic. What? No, how did this happen? I usually always keep it set on me. I was gonna say, I haven't received a gift in a while and I'm wondering if it's broken. It wasn't on me. Anyways, there is something in this pack that um, I have, uh, I've known about, but I've never really messed around with it. There really may be no ep no purpose to this episode. Uh, we might turn it into like a little prank or something, but I want to mess with Florbs, and I want to mess um, sort of end of this video specifically with Milk Florbs, because Milk is actually a pourable liquid, so we're gonna have Gus here give us some help. So Florbs, um, let me see if I have, okay, so I have a couple filled. I've got one filled with Resident Ender, another one filled with Liquid Poison. Just some lovely stuff, you know? But, um, Florbs are basically like these little capsules that you can hold uh, liquid in. So within thermal expansion, you can basically, ha um, you know, contain all these different liquids. Like this is gelid cryoethium. I've got blaze, blazing, blazing pyroethium. Here we've got destabilized redstone, uh, resonant ender. Here behind here we've got uh, energized glowstone. So there's a whole ton of stuff that you could do. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to mess around with some milk florbs today. And uh, as I'm saying this out loud, I'm sort of thinking, hey, this might be kind of cool to put into like a little prank or, I don't know, fill someone's house with milk. So that could be kind of sweet. So what we need to do first is we need to make these florbs. Now to make a florb, you're gonna need either a slime ball, coagulated uh, uh, blood, ball of glue, so, so on and so forth. I have a bunch of slime balls. We're also gonna need sawdust and then we're gonna need something called slag. Now slag is going to be, uh, it's, it's made from a different, um, from different things. Uh, you can use rich slag and smelt stuff down. You get a higher percentage of getting slag from that. I don't think I have any rich slag. How do you even get rich slag? Redstone ore and sand. Wait, one redstone ore? Oh, if you soak touch it. Turns into a block of redstone with sand. No way. That's sweet. I didn't know that. 5% chance. No, I don't want to do that. 30% chance. What's like a high percentage? Here we go. Gold ore. Oh, cinnabar. What the heck is cinnabar? Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, for today's purposes, I think I would like to probably just do the 25% chance here from the uh, taking sand, mixing it with pulverized gold and um, some slag. So we are going to need here, first thing I'm gonna need, cause I haven't fired up the furnace in, uh, well I haven't fired up the machine in a while. Um, this guy, the, the power source, we've got the redstone energy cell here is doing great. Um, He's holding power, and actually, I probably don't even need to do anything, but my tank is empty here. This is where I keep, um, what is it? Pulverized coal, I think is what it's called. So we're gonna stick it in the pulverized, yeah, we got some pulverized coal already. The off-putter, or whatever, is um, occasionally you get sulfur. Um, but I'm gonna pulverize up some more of this, and actually, because there's such a high charge left in this redstone energy cell, and it's losing power currently, but if it got really, really low, I think I'd put some more um, power back into this system. Um, and I'll just go ahead and put a little bit here so you guys can see how this works. So it's gonna pump it through here. This, um, this is the compression dynamo. Um, so it's not the magma, magmatic dynamo or the steam one. I think I got the steam one still over here. Uh, yeah, steam dynamo over here. That runs straight off of coal. This runs off of coal as well, but actually runs off of this, um, pulverized coal. And you basically get more bang for your buck for coal. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and so this is losing power, but it's going to charge back up once we're done uh, using power over here. So uh, let me go ahead and put these away there. I'm gonna put this there for storage. And what we need to get is some sand and some gold ingots. So let's uh, look up some sand. I think we're gonna do, let's do at least like 32. And then we'll do gold, um, maybe the same. 
And so we're gonna pulverize the gold down into pulverized gold. So if you guys remember the system I set up, the automatic system down here, the uh, commendation grits, thank you. The automatic ones are over here, and these use the uh, Project Red um, transport pipes to transport the items back and forth to my storage system. Over here are the manual ones. That's sort of where I what I use to do my you know my crafting and everything. Like this isn't getting taken out. I can just take it out myself like that, which is pretty cool. It's pretty handy. Um, okay, so we are we're generating regenerating power. Yeah, it looks like that. I think so. Yeah, we're going up. Okay, cool. So uh, what I need to do in the what is it? I think it is the what 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 what. Uh, induction smelter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Induction smelter, right here. We're going to put sand there, and then our pulverized gold is going to go right there. Now, if I were to put pulverized gold or pulverize it right here, the little cards in here know. They're like, yo, man, we gotta get that out of here, put it in there, and then it'll start smelting it up in the redstone furnace. And I don't want that. I don't want that. And I'm actually going to check on things down here. Holy smokes, it is full. Get on out of there. And I hear the demon over there. He's just demoning things up. I still have four witch trophies down here. Not too bad. What in the world? How did this show up? Where? The system must have been holding that. Um, holding that there. And my uh, mob essence is full for my uh, machine for defense. So that's good. Um, this is still going up. Okay, so once this is finished, this is taking forever. We're going to pulverize some gold. I don't know why I started this. I am an idiot. Um, come on now. Jesus, it's taking so long. I didn't plan for this, but look, I have so much sulfur. Like, if anyone on the server needs sulfur, anyone at all, uh, please let me know because I have, uh, I have way more than I need. Now, sulfur, I think it's used to make, uh, well, that is used to make gunpowder. I thought that there was more. Oh, right here, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's used to make this pyroethium dust, which you need in order to basically make the enderium ingots. But that's neither here nor there, so I'm just going to take this out of here. Um, let's put that there and put that there. Okay, so now we can start to pulverize the gold. So smashing it down into little pulverized pieces. This is exactly what we need, and we're going to be able to use this to get some slag, and then we'll be able to use that to make some florbs, and then we can fill the florbs, and we'll have fun. So, I need some sawdust as well. So, oh, look at this. Plenty, plenty, plenty of sawdust. Let's get, like, 16 sawdust. That's perfect. Now, to get sawdust, if you don't know how to get sawdust, to get sawdust, you basically put uh, a log in there. I will show you, because I have plenty of things. There's freaking endermen around here. Um... So 16 sawdust, looking good. Um, so give me that. All right, so if I take this spruce wood log, the sawmill is very, very useful because instead of crafting it down in your own inventory and getting four logs from, or uh, four planks from one log, you get six and some sawdust. Uh, eight pieces of sawdust, like this. All right, gosh dang it. If I went like this, you're gonna make uh, compressed sawdust and then you can take that compressed sawdust and you can turn that into, uh, you put it in the furnace and it uh, cooks it up into uh, charcoal. But we don't need that today either. So let me get slime balls as well. We'll wait for the gold. All right, let's do 16 slime balls, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and then, hopefully, we can start to get some slag, which would be great. So let's check on the gold. Um, looking good, almost there, almost there. So we'll put these there, ready to go. I feel like this gold pulverized way faster than the other thing. I don't know what the deal with that was. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put these in there. Now, what? <laughs> what is it doing? Seriously? You showed me that. You said, hey pal, you can get slag. Pulverized gold and sand. Right? Sand. Pulverized gold. What is happening right now? For real? Are we, what? Uh. There we go. Something. 
Probably because this lever right, is right here. Flip that sucker off, and look at this. We're getting slag, baby, yes! So now I put it on uh, high. So it is controlled by the power source here. I gotta put a different, put that lever in a different spot. That's 100% true. Um, we got five slag from that. So now, look at this. Gold still, st we didn't waste any gold. So we'll just repulverize it. It basically, for some reason, somehow, scientifically, takes gold and turns it into, it like brushes up with the sand and then it gets you slag. I, <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but extreme heat, I guess, something. Um, but I want to get, try and get as much out of that stack that left, what's left of that stack of 16, um, uh, sand for slag as we can. And then we'll make, make the actual like floor balls and then we got to fill those with the liquid. Um, so come on, baby. So I think, uh, it, oh no, it, I think it uses two per piece of sand or something like that because it went through all 32 ingots or pieces of pulverized gold but it only left 16 pieces of sand i think and it's raining let's make it stop raining oh dang it i messed up but yeah guys i'm really excited for the new witchery update give myself some power back um i heard him i heard the enderman where is he where do you think he is I don't see him. Oh, oh, there he is. Get him. Mm. I hit him with the wrong thing. What did I morph into? Oh, goodness. Oh. oh, no, don't press that. Oh, my gosh. All my buttons are wrong. Because I've been playing too much Elder Scrolls Online and I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so gold, got it. All right, so put this back in here. Hopefully that enderman leaves me alone. Oh. Thought I saw a flash of light, and then I heard Gus, and I, I got scared. So there we go, more slag. And, oh wow, yeah, it goes by, goes up by two. It makes ingots by two. Come on, give me more slag. Give me more dang slag. Dang it. I want a little bit more, but I think that'll be okay. Um, In case I want to make more later, we'll put those in there. So now we got to make the actual florbs. So the florbs, um, let's go ahead and wait for that one to show up. Mm, there we go. Okay, so right there, right there, and right there. There we go. Oh, you get four. I forgot about that. So we're perfect. We're gonna have plenty of florbs now. Awesome. So uh, we've got enough florbs there. So let's go ahead and throw these guys over here. Put them away. And now what you do is you can put the florb basically inside the fluid transposer. <clears throat> okay. So uh, right there, florb goes here. What we need is liquid here. Um, so what I want to do is probably make, um, let's go ahead and make another container, a uh, portable canister where we've got glass and uh, copper, okay? This will be very, very easy. Um, glass, right? That's the right glass, yeah, good, good, good. Because there's also hardened glass, I don't need that right now. And copper, okay. So now we're going to take this, 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 and there, and we're gonna have a portable tank. Now, what is this portable tank for? It right now is going to be used for uh, milk. So we're gonna make the make an input there. Blue is gonna go in. Um, this one needs to go out. But before we do that, I wanna basically show you guys how we're storing the milk. So let's put this over there. Put this over there, and come over here to Gus. And I'm assuming this is gonna work. I've never done this before with milk. <laughs> um, Oh my goodness. This is gonna be, there we go. This is so much milk. I think I got too much, Gus, I'm sorry. Cause I don't have a big enough canister right now. Oh dang it. Okay. So basically, we're filling this up with milk. Check that out, that's kinda cool. You just get the contained milk in a little container like that. Uh, might be able to fit one more in there. Actually, probably wasn't a bad amount. Gus, you almost gave me the right amount, buddy. Thank you. No, I can't put any more in. I can't put any more milk in there. Um, oops, see? Look, two extra milks right there. Alright, so basically now, what we're gonna do is there's a storage unit inside this. The fluid transposer, and that's right here. This mill of buckets. Uh, mill of buckets of milk. So, we're gonna flip this over to orange. It's going to 
not drain out because we need to flip this on empty. And there you go. Now it's going to start filling these floors with milk. Check this out. <laughs> now milk is totally harmless on the floor. It's totally and completely harmless. It just is white and annoying. Um, I'm pretty sure it acts like water. <clears throat> but I'm kind of thinking it would be kind of fun today to maybe milk B-Dubs' house. I don't know. Why do I always prank B-Dubs? Because he seems to always have the best reactions. He just does. I don't know why. Um, but we don't have to prank him. We could always prank somebody else. Um, not trying to start any trouble. I just think it'd be kind of fun to... Uh, to... to <laughs> Milk someone's milk someone's house. It's funny because I as I'm saying this, I, I'm realizing that uh, as comical as it is in um, Elder Scrolls Online, like some of the NPCs will tell you those they'll call you like a milk drinker, as if that's like a an <laughs> an insult. Like the Nords will be like, oh, I, <laughs> it was talking through that milk drinker the other day or something like that, and it's just like, what's wrong with being a milk drinker? <laughs> I don't even know. Maybe there's something I'm missing there. Probably is, but. Whatever, um, we can call whoever I prank a milk drinker because I think that'd be kind of funny. So, um, filling these floorbs with milk. I'm gonna do the last one here. Now, the interesting thing about these floorbs is once you throw them, you can't, you can't use them again. I don't think. Uh, so, wondering, can I empty that? <laughs> How to empty a floor? Hello. Oh, maybe if I do, because I don't need that many. Come on. Is that going to work? Empty the dang floor. Come on, baby. Oh. Can I do that? You can't suck it out. You What? You can't. You're this crazy equipment and you can't draw it out of the floor, but it's locked in there forever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Okay, so let's flip this back to input for the next time we do crazy floor stuff. And we'll go ahead and put this extra uh, portable tank just right here. That's a good spot, actually. Why did I take it down? I don't even know. Okay, so, you milk drinkers. Um, <laughs> little sad squid eye. Let me, let me see something here. I want to, so if I throw this on the floor, it's going to make milk everywhere. Just, just get milk. Oh, look, it gives you something. Haste. Oh, you can move your hand faster. You just, <laughs> that's so great. Um, I think I do want to go milk. Let's go milk B dubs. Let's go milk them. So, uh, we're gonna. Go <laughs> that sounds so wrong. That sounds awfully wrong. Um, where? Okay, this is my bucket of milk. Now I could just pour it. I could just pour it. <sighs> or. Oh, uh... I, I kind of want to set up like a player detector thing and when he comes in his house It's gonna auto activate through a dispenser. It's gonna sh shoot the milk things out But I'm kind of thinking too. It might just be fun to like just coat his house in milk Just completely cover it in milk. So floors are fun. Yeah, but we're also gonna take a little extra milk from Gus. So Let's come up here uh, And I'm pranking b-dubs because I haven't done anything to this guy in a while and I want to see his reaction so Let's do this. I'm assuming he still lives here. I don't think that he's moved. Oh, his little backpack. Look at his little backpack. I have a sleeping bag in mine. That's why I see my, see that. Okay. So if I were to pour liquid here, what would get washed away? Let's just take a look in here. He hasn't even done this yet. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, man. What if I put milk in his fireplace? Get milked. <laughs> Okay, here's the yeah, yeah, cuz I wanna I want to make sure That I'm not gonna wash stuff away But this could be really hilarious if he came in and his entire house just had milk like milk on the ceiling milk on the roof Oh, did something break? Oh, no. Oh His carpet. Oh His dang carpet. Uh B-dubs your carpet is in here. Okay for anyone that's watches B-dubs videos Tell him where his carpet is. Did the milk go down here? The milk! Look at all the milk! Holy milk! No way! One... One milk! Oh! Oh my gosh! Look how far the milk came! 
Holy, I hope he, I really, oh my, holy milk. Seriously, hashtag holy milk that. What in the world? Dudes, seriously, what in the world? I hope he spawns down here and goes, where the heck, and follows this all the way up here. That's kind of hilarious. Get milked. Okay, we're not done milking though. We are not done milking. Um, oh gosh, no, I wanna. Okay, let's slurp it up. See, florbs are really fun because you can just chuck them on the wall. Bonk. Get milked. He he always has like liquid in his house too. That's what's hilarious. He's a sad squid eye, and he's got. He came in one time and uh, generic put all that stuff in his house, man. And now I'm putting milk all in it. He's gonna hate all of us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is what I do when I get bored. I throw milk. Okay. Let's put milk. There's going to be so many milk source blocks in here. He's not even going to know what to do. Oh, this is going to be the worst yet. Look at all the milk. Look at the milk. Look at it all. I've, I've said milk like a thousand times. But look at it all. It's so much dang milk. This is the byproduct of Gus. Be proud. Be proud for all you Gus fanatics out there. I know, I know that there's some fans out there of of uh, of Gus. Let's go get detailed, man. Right there, even. Yeah. Look at this house, the house of milk. <laughs> this doesn't wash the stuff on the carpets, does it? <laughs> oh my gosh. So much milk. A hey, B Dub's got milk. <laughs> Whoa, you can see outside through the milk. I don't even I don't even know anymore <laughs> The house is just covered in milk. I Want to leave him a sign, but I don't All oh, you can even see it through here. He's gonna be like oh, who clouded my house. No clouds just milk <laughs> Just just lots and lots of milk. Oh My goodness. I I had no I what the is this? <laughs> what on earth? Oh, people have been building here. I gotta get on this. Is this a shop? No, this isn't a shop. Is this a shop? Tree dubs, tree dubs, uh, tree porium, cheap trees, buy, buy, buy. Well, I would buy, <laughs> but there's one thing this needs more milk bell. That was a horrible Christopher Walken impression, but give it milk. <laughs> there, now that's a legit shop. You got a milk flow here. It's the land of milk. Now we just need some honey. Man, I gotta get going on my shop. That's the one thing I gotta get going on. I think Paul is setting up. Yeah, this is has to be Paul's shop. I think he's gonna be setting up here, which would be right next to me, which would be kind of cool, because then I can kill him more. What on earth is this? It's what? Oh, I heard about this. It's like a trophy thing. Is this zombie taking a dump? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a turd. It's a total turd. And B Dubs is just, he's embracing the turd. Oh, holy turd. Fall on my face. And if it was so gently covered in milk, oh, I can't. You gotta be kidding me. If, <laughs> now look at it. It's just covered his face. Kinda, yeah, it's like it's on his forehead. It's a poo that milked and now, oh gosh, this is so gross. It's like a little statue area. Get witched. It's like a little, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I got shot by that thing. Whoops. Forgot about that. I can't tell if there's real zombies in there. I think there are. Someone left this hollow like an idiot. Oh man. This is great. I've had more fun out here just exploring this stuff. I can't believe B-Dubs is getting a dump taken on his forehead and it's the, the dump milked and now <laughs> this is so gross. Look at the mayor. What's the mayor doing? Oh my gosh. Do I have any milk floors left? I don't, but I do have a milk bucket. So let's go ahead and milk B Team Realty. Oh, are these carpet? Oh, I don't want to ruin those. Those, I ruined them in B Dub's house already. I'm not doing that. 
Uh, what about B-Dubs' little uh, shop thing that he never uses here? The sink mod, let's milk that. Milk in the corner of your house. There we go. The milk is great, it flows so far. Holy smokes. But look at this place, guys. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. We're gonna put one right on the inside of his door. I gotta, I gotta do this. Like, right freaking there. <laughs> It's just a solid wall of milk. He's gonna think he got clouded. And then, he's gonna start mining them away, and he's gonna realize it's, it's just straight up milk. <laughs> okay guys, well, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Attack of the B-Team. Um, not sure when we're updating next, but very, very soon the new Witchery update's gonna come out, and we're gonna be doing some crazy stuff. Some re really, really, really crazy stuff. Like, it's gonna be insane. Um, a lot of fun stuff coming up, guys. A lot of fun stuff. Whoa, this house got redone. Who the... Who did this? But anywho, uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, look at the... We got crates in here. Man, this is legit. Somebody did some building. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>